Well, we're resigning today. Um, we, uh, we've been feeling called to move to Texas and to serve at Gateway Church. And not sure what that looks like yet. Uh, but we've been feeling this for about three years. And uh, just within the last month, the Lord has revealed that it's the time is now. So we are getting ready to go. So actually today at 1230, I've got to meet with my boss and I am resigning. So crazy stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't have a job to go to yet. But, but God is calling us to take that step of faith. And we're trusting him uh, to open doors of opportunity for us. So um, all this started three years ago. I was washing dishes one day at our bed and breakfast. And I felt the Lord said that he wanted us to move. And uh, started praying over what that looked like. And I felt the Lord said, youth ministry, go back to school. And uh, so I went back to school, went to Liberty, and finished my master's degree in pastoral ministry. We started a youth group here, and we've had that for two years, and that youth group has grown, and we've seen 23 lives committed to Christ as part of that. Had about 100 kids on an average basis coming in and uh, getting fed, and uh, so yeah, we've got two more weeks of youth group, and uh, then we're going to go ahead and move. So. And when this started, we had savings in our savings account, Yeah. Um, and then... It was just a few weeks ago that God said, I want you to gift away your savings. We said, okay, <laughs> how much of it? He said, all of it. <laughs> so we gave away our, our savings and it wasn't even a week later. He said, I want you to move. It's not supposed to work that way, God. <laughs> Wait, but you just took our savings away and our moving money. <laughs> So, but we did, we, uh, we actually met with our president already, um, and I resigned with him, and we felt like that was the first big step, which was crazy scary. I felt like I wanted to throw up and cry all at the same time. And, but we did it, and he was very affirming, and uh, actually okay, confirmed that. Uh, that we were doing the right thing, uh, which we knew, but it was nice to hear uh, from him. And the day after that, we got two phone calls, and the first phone call was from a couple and they wanted to give us a thousand dollars and they didn't know why and they didn't know what was going on but they knew they were supposed to call us that day and not to hesitate and, and so they put the check in the next day and later that afternoon we got another phone no, call it was not even an hour oh, later hour, not even an hour later we got a phone call from another couple and said i heard you moving to texas and they didn't know that we didn't have any savings yep. and they said we we heard you moving to texas and we want to pay your first month's rent on your next house yeah so the crazy thing is, is that the amount that they both of us gave us is exactly double what, what we gave away. away, which is crazy. And then, Thank God. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, so we only had four hundred fifty dollars left that we needed to pay all the, of our moving costs, all of our moving for the house that we we're getting. Yeah. Um, and then that evening, another couple called and said, "How much do you have left that you need?" And he said, four hundred fifty dollars." I said, "Isn't the God awesome?" And, they said, yeah, he's, he's awesome. We're sending you the $450 now. <laughs> <laughs> so we had all of that paid for and already covered. And yep. so God said, see, I'm providing for the house. I'm taking you too. So I'm going to provide Brian with a job too. I just want you to take this step of faith yep. and still take this move. So we want And it's scary as a, as a husband and as a father, you know, you're the provider and you want to provide. I mean... Uh, I've always had a job. I've never had a gap of employment since I started working at the age of 12. Um, and so it's scary. It's scary to walk away from a sure thing with benefits and all that jazz uh, to step out in the unknown. But we're trusting God that he's going to provide. And uh, we know that he is in control of the natural and the supernatural. And that he can do whatever he wants. So that's where we are. We, we, uh, we cover your prayers. And uh, we're going to continue making videos as we move into this new part of our lives. And we'd love for you to join us on that journey. And so you can pray for us. And uh, and we pray this this will be a testimony to those watching. Exactly. Of God's faithfulness and provision. Yep. And unconditional love. Yep. So uh, until we see you again. And uh, we hope you have a blessed day. And we hope this video blesses you. God bless you guys. God bless you.